It's allotment time, but before we go up there, it's harmonica time. Cue the music. Hello! It's early September. I've come back up to the plot. I've got a lot of digging to do today. So this is what happens when yours truly does not keep on top of the weeding. Look at that. WTF, as the kids would say. I've got my work cut out for me today, so let's chat more dig. Right, so here are my weapons of choice. This ain't going to be pretty or easy. Now that was a ball breaker, excuse the expression. Woo. If you come down here, you'll notice that I haven't finished off the last foot and a half. Well, sue me, because I'm absolutely knackered. I'll get to that in my own good mystical time. But in the meantime, I've made a start on that bed. I'll probably give it another rough dig in the winter but yeah there you go it's not looking too bad now so kids there's another life lesson that your uncle Adam has taught you stay in school don't do drugs and most importantly stay on top of the weeds Whew. I am hashtag tired my spinach romped away this season and I'm really chuffed with it. Uh, I've been picking it, I've been eating it, it's great. Trouble is, you've got to pick loads of it because it boils down to nothing. Anyhow, let me get on with that right now. I don't know if this is the right way to pick it, I just pull it from the stalks. The smaller ones, the smaller leaves, they're a lot just tastier, they're not as tough as the older ones, like these. Go for the smaller ones, I find. My butternut squashes, the two of them, have started to split, which is bad news, bad times, people. So I'm definitely going to cut that big one from the stem um, and hope that the plant pushes more energy into some of the others which are dotted around uh, which haven't split but I don't know what that would be um, I know you're all going to say it's not been watered enough but the ground is really moist so I don't know I don't think it is that maybe I'm leaving them too long and should pick them earlier and then just let them ripen on the windowsill at home I don't know I'm not a butternut squash expert first time I've tried them so if uh, you have any advice out there in allotment land Please do help. Anyhow, let me cut that bad boy off. You see what I mean? Split. How do I prevent that? Here's another squash coming on. Seems okay. The smaller, runtier one next to it. But the bigger one seems okay, it's not splitting. Please tell me what I'm doing wrong. I want a butternut squash this year. Please, help. Look at my lovely leeks. I'm hoping and praying 
they're going to come good and not go the way of the button that squash. I just don't want them splitting, dying or getting up to mischief. So I've got this big rambling monstrosity at the top of the uh, plot which I've never paid much attention to. I always thought I would um, chop it back and eventually dig it out. However, I noticed this and I thought, do you know what? That looks like a grape plant, a grape vine. And then I stood back and I saw the whole thing is growing over my monstrosity, whatever it is, a rowan bush or whatever that is, rowberry, I don't know, whatever that is. Anyhow, I think it's coming from the neighbour's side of the garden. Look at those. Those are grapes. Let me just push the camera in and try and focus on that little bunch there. There we go. More grapes. So that was quite a surprise. I'd never noticed it before. Um, I don't think it's going to come to much, but I feel quite exotic here on 23A. That's my plot number that I have grapes growing in amongst my monster bush. There you go. Do you know what I've done? I've bored myself. Oh, well. That's the end of another episode here on The Plot, which produces not much. But I don't care, I'm enjoying it. Before I go, um, do you guys ever check your analytics on your YouTube channel? For those that aren't in the know, the analytics uh, has a basically tells you as a breakdown of what your YouTube channel is about. And I check out the demographic page, which tells me where all my views are coming from. So I've got people in America watching me. Hello. People in Canada. Hello. Australia. New Zealand. India. Europe etc etc however the other day I was just checking it out and there was one solitary view from North Korea now you know who that is that's Kim Jong-un Mr. Dictator I think that chap is getting into the allotment life Kim if you're watching this episode Lay down your nukes, mate. Pick up a fork, pick up a spade. Less dictator and more tater grower. And together, me, you, and the allotment family can turn this world into a big bloody allotment site. Champion. Anyway, that's it for this week or this month. I don't know when I'll be back up next. But if you have tuned in, thank you very much and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.